Sitting on my desk is the documentation for a painting. I'm getting ready to attach it to the back of the painting itself. It's always good to literally attach a copy of your documentation to the artwork itself when you can. Documentation for artworks is always getting lost, always getting lost. And when it's lost, all that important information becomes a mystery. The documentation for this painting has about everything you'd want in artwork documentation. The packet includes photos of the artwork and the artist's monogram. Always good to put photos in with your documentation just to make sure you're talking about the same work of art. The packet includes a 2015 estimate from the famous auction house Christie's. There's a picture of a larger version of the same painting by the same artist in a museum. There are references to the painting in contemporary literature of the time, as well as references to the painting from the artist's autobiography. The provenance of the painting includes one famous owner, who happened to be a queen. Just about everything you would want in documentation for a painting. But that wasn't always the case. Forty years ago, this painting was unknown and in a rummage sale. How we got from that rummage sale to all this information is an interesting story. That story will take us to a castle and to the life of a queen. We will see how the reputations of artists rise and fall. We will learn about technology and the pursuit of knowledge about art. And even now, this painting still holds a few more mysteries we need to discover. I call bringing unknown works of art to life the great game. There are few things that can be more interesting and at times more frustrating. So let's follow the journey of this painting from rummage sale to full documentation. It should be fun.